Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. Now in this video we have uh, another Philadelphia International Airport update. Um, now this update is pre-recorded because I'm currently in Europe um, on my trip. So that means that the next, uh, also the next Philadelphia update will also be pre-recorded. But other updates after that will not be. So let's get into it. Now here we have the Alaska Airlines 737-800. Now he just arrived in from Seattle to Coma and he's going to be departing back to Seattle in around uh, two hours. Now after that we have a United um, 737-800. Now this guy just uh, pulled in from Denver around one hour ago and he should be departing for Chicago in uh, 45 minutes. Now here we have a United 737-800 in the old livery. Um, now this guy is just going to be departing out to Denver in around 20 minutes and he arrived in from Chicago around 1 hour and 30 minutes ago. Now moving out to the Delta section, here we have the Delta 717 um, which of course arrived in from Detroit and he's going to be departing out to um atlanta in around uh 25 minutes now here we have the delta 757 200 um now this guy is going to be departing out to salt lake city in two hours and 20 minutes here we have a JetBlue airbus a321 and he's just going to be departing out to fort lauderdale in around uh, 45 minutes now the last plane at this terminal here we have a delta 737-900 er and he's going to be departing out to minneapolis in around um one hour and 40 minutes american airlines airbus a320 and he's just going to be departing out to um, Boston he's just next in line for departures on runway 31 now here we have the American Airlines Airbus A319 and he's just going to be departing out to Savannah Georgia um, in around five minutes he's just waiting for the American Airlines A320 now the last plane waiting for departure is the Sun Country 737-800 um, now he's currently third in line for departure uh, today um, and he's of course heading out to Minneapolis. Now here we have the Southwest 737-800 in the split scimitars. Um Now he's just going to be departing out to Baltimore. Now I know this is a short flight um, but this is actually a crew only flight so after that he's actually going to have a passenger flight. Um, but yeah, he's going to be departing out to Baltimore in around 30 minutes. Now here we have the Southwest 737-800 in the new livery. Also in the split scimitars. Now he's just getting ready to depart out to Atlanta in around 20 minutes. Here we also have another Southwest um, 737. Now he is not in the canyon. He is not in the split scimitars, um, but he's just in the Kenyan blue livery and he is going to be um, departing out to Orlando. Now here we have a Spirit Airbus A321 and he's going to be um, departing out to Las Vegas in around um, 1 hour and 10 minutes. Now here we have the Air Canada Q400. Um, now this guy is just going to be departing out to Montreal in around um, two hours. Now here we have the Air Canada Express CRJ900. Now this guy is just going to be departing out to um, Toronto in around five minutes. He's just getting ready to push back. American Eagle Embraer 145. Now he's just going to be departing out to State College in around one hour. Here we have the United Express CRJ 200, and he just arrived in um, from Washington Dulles around uh, 45 minutes ago, and he's going to be departing out to Newark um, for a crew-only flight in around. Um, uh, 
approximately 20 minutes. American Eagle Embraer 175. Now he's just going to be um, departing out to Pensacola, Florida in around 1 hour and 30 minutes. Here we have the United Express CRJ 550. Now this guy is just going to be um, departing out to Chicago O'Hare in around 42 minutes. Now we do have a pretty empty American Airlines um, terminal today, um, but here we have the American Airlines Airbus A321neo and he's just going to be departing out to Los Angeles in around um, 3 hours and 30 minutes. Here we have an American Airlines 737-800 and he just arrived in from San Francisco. Here we have an American um, Airlines A319 in the Allegheny Retro livery and he's going to be um, departing out to Pittsburgh in around 30 minutes. Now here we have the American Airlines 777-200. Um, now he is just going to be um, well, he arrived in from Rome and he is going to be getting ready for its next departure um, out to Amsterdam, which is going to be in around 5 hours as this is update is around 12 p.m. Um, but yeah. Now next up we have uh, American Airlines 787-9. Now he just arrived in from Amsterdam and he's going to be getting ready for his next departure out to Rome in around 5 hours. Now here we have the American Airlines 777-200ER, I mean 300ER, and he's going to be um, departing out to London Heathrow in around 3 hours. Now the flight coming in um, was actually cancelled. Now here we have the American e Airlines um, Airbus A321 and he's just arrived in from Seattle around um, 45 minutes ago and he's going to be departing out to San Francisco in approximately two hours. Now here we have an American Airlines Airbus A321 and he's just going to be um, departing out to Fort Lauderdale in around one hour. Here we have an American Airlines um, Airbus A320 and he's going to be departing out to Dallas in around um, 30 minutes. Here we have another American Airlines um, Airbus A320 and he's going to be departing out to Tampa in around 2 hours and 10 minutes. Now the final aircraft for this update here we have the Qatar Airways. Um, Airbus A350-900 and he just arrived in from Doha around 10 minutes ago and he's going to be departing back to Doha in around six and a half hours. Well alrighty everybody I hope you enjoyed this update of the Philadelphia International Airport. Um, now I am going to have two more updates this month which is going to be Lviv and also Donetsk um, and the next month um, Hopefully I will upload um, more updates, um, but there's also going to be more travel videos, so maybe some updates will be cancelled next month. Um, we'll see, but I hope you enjoyed the video, and fly safe.